If I was to ask you the word for outer fortification of defence, then you might look at me quite strangely. However, if you live in London, you probably use that word a little bit more than what you think, because that word is, of course, Barbican. Opened in 1982 by Queen Elizabeth, who declared this one of the modern wonders of the world, the Barbican now plays home to some 4,000 people. Designed by architects Chamberlain, Powell and Bond, who were given the brief to design a utopian London after the devastation of a bombing in World War II, they designed something, well, they designed something pretty unique. I'm here today to show you something really special. Now, we're at Lauderdale Tower, which is the most westerly facing of the three towers here at the Barbican. Follow me. Welcome to Lauderdale Tower in the Barbican in the city. Now, if you're anything like me, you might struggle with visualization, which is why we've had the lounge diner digitally staged. Pretty cool, huh? Arguably the main selling feature of this property are the views. They're absolutely incredible. By being a type 1A property in Lauderdale Town means we have the most westerly facing views in the entire Barbican estate. Behind me we have the London Eye, St Paul's. The views are absolutely incredible. Now where I'm stood right now used to be the fourth bedroom. What's great about that is that the previous occupants had it removed. As the Barbican became Grade 2 listed in 2012, if you wanted to have this done today, you'd have to seek permission from the Barbican estate to see if it's even possible. My favourite feature, the wraparound balcony. Go and have a look round and I'll see you on the other side. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a bit of a blank canvas and maybe even a doer upper. <laughs> now, you might love a project like me, obviously, or you might prefer something more turnkey, which is why we partnered up with our friends at Interiors by Dapper to produce some mood boards that you can see here and here. Now, there's no escaping the bathrooms need doing, so we've had some really cool 70s, 80s modern design knocked up. Again, you can see those here and here. Either way, it's up to you. You can take this on as a project or we can work with you so you have a turnkey solution for when you move in. <laughs> 